Former Premier Zhang Yihua and other cabinet members from the Ma administration took part in a demonstration mobilized by the Kuomintang and criticized the new government's forward-looking infrastructure development program as hasty and ill-conceived. The Ministry of Transportation and Communications responded that rail constructions are vital for the island's future and all the projects had been assessed in a cautious and meticulous fashion. On May 13th, the Kuomintang protested against the forward-looking infrastructure plan as a collection of thoughtless construction projects. A group protested outside the legislative yuan and piled up bricks of money, then asked young people to carry them, symbolic of the burden that young people will have to bear for the 880 billion NT dollar program. Former Premier Jiang Yihua and other members of the former cabinet held a forum at which they demanded that the DPP government respond to some of the unanswered questions about the program, such as how half of the estimated budget is for rail projects, and how this has been hastily appropriated from the country's long-term development fund for use. Responding to the former administration's protests, the MOTC responded that all the rail projects had passed assessment, and it wasn't just thoughtlessly throwing up construction projects. It referred to flying junctions, which increased the capacity of railways by making tracks cross in a grade-separated manner. 但是我們在做鐵路地理的話,我們有個審議小組非常嚴格,從初審到復審,然後送到這個新政院核定都非常嚴格的程序,所以我們不建議說好像全部都是以這個鐵路地理的話,全部都要做,要看當地有沒有影